Hey! Hey, it's me again! Haha! <laughs> it's actually the same day as the uh, last episode I recorded, except I'm slightly more caffeinated. Um, the last time I did this recording... <clears throat> uh, this is the later in the day from the last episode, yeah. As I did an episode of Cataclysm in the middle of this, it's a uh, completely different game. But, you know, I did pretty okay. I've been feeling like my main series have been a little stale lately, you know, not making any progress in any of them, so it was nice to make some progress finally. But anyway, I'm excited to play this a little more. Man, that's a nice tune. I'll never do that again, I promise. I just happen to have it here on my desk. <clears throat> anyway, let's get back into the game. Bup, bup. Bup. There we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm sorry that it's so blurry here. Um, I can't get the resolution any bigger without full screening it, so unfortunately, it's going to be a tiny bit blurry. Uh probably throughout the entire series. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Critzy Bear. Welcome to me. Let's talk to mom. Hello, dear. Um, how are you? I can't just, like, ask her about her thoughts on the current room or whatever. Man, that was what I was hoping I could do when I heard about my mom being a character that I could talk to at any point. What am I doing again? Right, I'm looking for a door. Let me talk to all these guys. Hello. How are you doing today? What's up? <clears throat> I heard that you created an entire set of armor out of paper. That's quite impressive. How are you doing today? Uh, yeah, probably nothing really much to talk about overall. <clears throat> Hello. Did you make your hat? <clears throat> I mean, did you make your hat? I can only make two things out of folding paper. A box and a crane. That's still pretty good. I'm, I've lost all my steam from doing all the voices. <sighs> Thanks for saying that. Okay. Man, why is everyone talking about my, my hat in this room? I probably should have talked to the nurse, huh? I guess I'll talk to everybody. Hello, small child. What brings you to the blood draw? <clears throat> In a world with so many new things to learn, no one needs to be bored. For example, did you know that a neutron star is so dense that a teaspoonful of its fate would be more than all the people on Earth? I don't know what that means. One day you will. And then it will blow your mind. What can I help you with? Oh, shoot. Sometimes I like to, uh, so many species could benefit from... Yeah, it's the same one as before. <clears throat> Wait, my name is just Boy? I don't have a name? Hey there, anything new? Sometimes I like to look for spare change around the hospital. You'd be surprised how much is left laying around in cabinets. No, I wouldn't, because I've already seen it. Doofus! See you later. Let me drink my coffee. I just gotta make sure to finish it before, like, 2.30, or else it'll keep me up later than I want to, and, uh, so I, I don't drink it past then. Um, but I also don't like wasting things, so, you know, let me visit the cafeteria, see if I can get that old guy some coffee, you know? Alright, I probably have to look at the vending machine, never mind. Oh, well, I guess I can visit the dudes here. What? Fucking, what's her name? Danielle took the cat to work again. Yeah, I, I like cats, sure. Oh, shoot, yeah, uh, aren't they the best? I've had, like, four of them at home. If all goes well, I'll be lucky to have, uh, I'll have lucky number five by the end of the year. <clears throat> hey, kiddo, you need something? Nah. Yeah, sorry, I, I just, 
I completely different game I was playing immediately before that. Hey there, long time no see, buddy. Need something? I used to work for a big fancy restaurant. Yep. Pinky. Pinky. Hanky panky. Haha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that was a fake laugh, yes. I, I don't actually laugh like that. In case you didn't know. Right, vending machine. <clears throat> Can this doctor still not find his keys? Oh, come on, I'm trying to talk to you. It's good to walk around every now and then. Walking around is good for your circulation. Just... Restocking soon? Come on. That old man wants his coffee, dude. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe the dude with the tea has coffee. Oh. Right, no, wrong one. Yeah, it's this one, right? <clears throat> hey, dude. I see that you're still drinking. Hey there. You need something? It seems these days it's getting harder to find the words. Either that or people just don't listen. Right, bye. I would like some coffee, but never mind. I forgot to look at, uh, last episode. I said I wanted to look at my treatment plan or whatever. And, uh, my... Whatchamacallit. You know, the thing with, with my disease, I wanted to Google that. This is the old man. Bye, old man. I would love to get you some coffee, but I cannot. Alas. Alright, I can't reach my treatment plan, but I can look at, uh... Permetrexed disodium. Permetrexed disodium. Okay, let me look that up. Um, what is what is P P matrix disodium? Oh boy, <clears throat> National Cancer Institute. That is not a good prognosis right there. Um, defense disodium is used uh, alone or okay, that's a drug, right? Okay is approved to be used alone or with other drugs to treat malignant pleural mesothelioma in patients who can't have surgery. Uh, lung cancer? Locally advanced or is metastasized? Oh no. What's mesothelioma again? I know, I, I'm vaguely familiar with it, but since I haven't had a family member with it, I, I only remember it from the commercials. Uh, lung cancer. It's a type of uh, tumor in the tissue that lines the lungs, stomach. Uh, okay. So I guess I am a cancer kid. Uh, I thought that I would be making a bad assumption by <clears throat> by by looking at the hat. But I guess I really am. I, I really am a cancer kid. Anyway, uh, right, is this key to that door, or is it to the... That's probably to that door. That's not a good sound at all. Hello, dear. When I was a little girl, I used to search for doors. <clears throat> Box filled with bento lunch. All right, I, uh, I missed something down here, didn't I? Shovel. Can't interact with the shovel. Never mind. Fish. Half eaten fish that looks like it's been taken from the trash. By the way, there's a hobo in my room last night who left a letter on the floor. Uh, should, shouldn't we be more concerned about that? I wanted to look at the other door. Mom! Where are we? <clears throat> I'm not sure. Wowie, what could it be? Could it be? Rakuen? Ra oh, this is so strange. Mom, the Rakuen, Ra Rakuen key. <laughs> Hi, I'm four kids, Kritzy.
And that's a generic RPG maker asset right there, I think. <laughs> Mom! <gasps> Wait, I don't want to be here anymore. I know, dear. But you know what? What? Now that you're the keeper of the key, you can go anywhere. Oh no. Even to Morizora? To ask him for a wish? If that's where you want to go. Can we go together? Of course. Oh no. Well, shall we? Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't do well with emotional games. It's a good thing I don't have a webcam. So, I mean, if we're thinking of this, like, metaphorically, she might have, like, given him the book to read on his own. <clears throat> Should I do an annoying voice? What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Oh, look, it's not Moogles. How did you get in here? We just came through the door behind us. There's no door behind you. <clears throat> yes, there is. I think the tall creatures must have hit their heads in the storm. They're talking crazy. I don't know what they got, how they got here, but maybe we should help them. I see you must be lost. I've never seen you around Morizora's forest before. Yes, this is our first time here. Oh, so you're tourists then? I guess you could call us that. Why is she? Why is she so, so casual about this? We're in the f fucking fantasy universe. Unless this, you know, is all just a fantasy. We're playing pretend, and she's like being condescending about it. You know what? From now on, I'm reading all her fantasy world dialogue in a condescending tone. <clears throat> You know, like, not, like, the offensive kind of condescending, like, when you're, when you're, like, b supporting your kids playing pretend or something, and you're like, oh no, he's gonna get me! <laughs> anyway. But we, uh, but we all know about this place. We've read about it in our book. A book about us? Yeah! I learned about the forest and the paradise world across the sea. You mean Rakuen? Yeah! That's wonderful! Is there anything you'd like to do while you're here? I have a little too much caffeine in me, I'm sorry. I, I'm... Hmm. Yeah, I'm starting to get to, like, the jittery stage. Well, I've always wanted to meet the great forest guardian, Morizora. Uh, ah, Morizora! He lives in the cave just northwest of this village, I think. But I hear he's been sleeping for a long time, and it's not easy to wake him up. <clears throat> anyways, anyways, I hate people who spell anyway with an S. Hmm. Something is carrying vibrations into my microphone here. I'm very gently touching it to try to figure out where. Maybe it's the cord? Hmm. I used to have something to elevate the cord slightly. Dang. I mean, I got like a... little bronze thing here. Maybe that'll work. <clears throat> Anyways, this is, uh, anyway. This is, uh, the Liebel Village Inn. Feel free to make yourself at home. Let us know if you need anything! Wahoo! What interesting looking creatures. Did you notice when they turned around? They didn't have tails. Hush. It's not nice to talk about others beyond their backs. I mean, I can make it muffled. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. Just never seen anything like it is all. Why are we just, like, hanging out here? Oh, right, I need my right hand, so this arrangement isn't good at all, is it? Um, heck, there we go, I'll just support the cord with, with my hands, yeah, maybe that'll lower the background noise a little bit.
Let me see. I got a little uh, audio things going on in the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Oh, actually, I just realized I never actually uh, went ahead and saw if the balance for the audio was okay. Give me just a second, because, like, the audio... The file is literally right here, so I can just check real quick. Okay. Hmm? Oh, all right. It sounds pretty okay. Is that the background noise or my computer humming? I, I guess it sounds pretty okay. I'll turn it up like a tiny bit. Because I feel like it's balanced a little wrong. Like when the game is quiet, you don't really pick up on the sounds. Oh, I forgot to unmute the audio. There you go. Sorry about that little break. But hey, that's the quality that you should expect from me. Anyway, back to the game. <clears throat> Hello, dear. How are you? These Liebels have a lovely village. I never thought I'd see the day that I'd be standing here amongst them. Wowie. <laughs> Vase full of flowers. Cute little bed, which I'm pretty sure is also an RPG Maker asset. Small fragrant flower. Flowers that are bigger than my head. Um, flowers that are bigger than my head also. <clears throat> These pots are pretty cool, though. Why are there, like, fantasy universe pots in the hospital? So, um, what's it like not having a tail? Do you fall over a lot? Hey! Oops, sorry, I mean, how are you? Hey, that's what I ask people all the time. If you're looking for more Azara, he lives in the big cave northwest of this village. Yep. And the innkeeper, you got anything to say? Welcome to the Liebel Inn! Would you like to sleep here? No, thank you. Save my get. Why would I need a save point? I... Okay, you can save at any time, which is good, but if, if this, like, implies that it wasn't always like that... This is like an hour and a half into the game, and you're just now giving me a save point? What? Dude. Got any, anything else? Got any, like, books or anything? We got, uh... That nah, doesn't seem like anything interesting this year. Dude. Them are some cute sprites. Are these... Dude. Like, these are some... The house sprites are some things that I would expect from, like, a... Like, like a Game Boy, no, uh, Game Boy Advance Zelda game. Which is to say, they look professional, dude. I mean, you can't really see the crispness of them in the recording here. Like, that kind of, like, dulls the pixels a little bit. I feel like it looks better with the pixels all crispy. <clears throat> well, well, what do we have here? A couple of fresh faces and Morazora's horrors. <laughs> Are you a- are, are you a pink cat? Excuse me? I'm a Liebel, of course! Cats walk on all fours and don't talk- What are you? A great warrior. A human, of course. Human? Is that anything like a horse? Well, all creatures are welcome here in Liebel Village, so feel free to make yourself at home. This is gonna be like a bridge to Terabithia sort of thing, where, like, I confront the psychological representations of all the characters here, and then go and talk to them in real life. I got a bug! The travel bug! I can't sit still, I'm so restless! I wanna travel the world! I know it's a long shot, but I heard Winston used to build boats before I came here. Maybe he'll decide to build them again. Who's Winston? Winston's carpenter in Liebel Village, who loads up by the river. He's also a nice guy, but mainly keeps to himself. He's been caring for this sick wife ever since he came to the forest. We don't really know what happened to her. Is Winston the guy with the coma wife? Travel bug, I'm on travel. Where would you go, though? I think the question is, where WOULDN'T I go? Ha! Doofus. 
Is this a fucking cupcake radish? Or is those are these onions? Is that for is that foreshadowing that they're onions? You know, because I'm gonna cry. If you don't mind, I've got a lot of food to prepare and not much time to do it. It's Panky! It's literally fucking Panky! His name is literally Panky! <laughs> wow, you two are tall. I guess you're not from around here, are you? Yeah, that pretty much confirms it for me. None of this is actually happening. These are just uh, representations of people. Okay, that's not... What the fuck are those things? Never mind. Get the fuck out of there. Who are you? Oh, I know who this is. It's Korra. Wow, never seen you guys before. Are you new here? <clears throat> Normally at this time, I'd be selling art supplies, but I'm still cleaning things up after the storm. The storm? There was a storm here? A really big one. Was it like... Hi Hiroshima or something? I don't know. Maybe it's like some alternate history super war and not like a literal... The actual bombs that were dropped on Japan. I mean, I don't even know if it's actually Japan or if there's like just incidentally a lot of Japanese names here. <clears throat> anyway, lots of things were destroyed. Bamboo is growing out of crazy and crazy out here. But the biggest problem right now is that all of the beanstalks connecting the village with the Skylands have been destroyed. The Skylands? <clears throat> yeah, half of our tribe lives up on these islands in the sky. We can't reach them without beanstalks. Normally, all at this time, I'd be selling art supplies, but I'm clean Oh, wait, you already said that. You look a bit worried. No, nope. no, she doesn't. She, she looks fine, dude. <clears throat> I guess I'm just concerned about the other villagers. Everyone here works so hard, and I feel like all the storm kind of brought us all down. Yeah. I wish there was something we could do to try to help them out, you know? Normally at this time, it'd, yep, see you later. Artist menu. Paper lanterns, reeds, fireflies, okay. Who's this guy? Beautiful. What a strange painting. Is that foreshadowing? I think I remember that from a, a screenshot of the game. That, that character. Can't interact with anything else, really. Kitchen? No, I already tried to interact with the kitchen. Alright, bye! Just walked right into your house. You're fine. You're totally cool with it. Like, this village seriously reminds me of, like, the Minish Cap. Which I never got to play very much. But, can I interact with these plants? Oh, hey, a treasure chest. Never mind, I can't reach the treasure... I don't think we have the right tools remo to remove this... Bamboo. <clears throat> this door is locked. There's a note on the door. <clears throat> Read it? Yes. I'm extremely sorry, but an angry spirit stole my tools and I'm unable to work again until I get them back. Sincerest apologies, the blacksmith. Wow, what a what a, what bad luck. Who are you? They came through here the other day and almost crushed all my crops. They came through here the other day and almost crushed on. Yeah. The bear has such a bad attitude. Is the bear the grumpy old man? Is he the grumpy old man? Who's this guy? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are these things? That's Danielle, of course. With this. She's got sewing needles. She's got needles in her cap because she sews things. <clears throat> hey, kiddo, welcome to my store. Lately, I've been thinking about getting a fifth cat. My husband hasn't been too keen on the idea, but he'll warm up with time. Wait, these are cats? Um, yeah, these are cats. Haven't you ever seen a cat before? What a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, sure. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
I was trying to compare this to the hospital's layout, but nah, it doesn't really... Nah, it doesn't really fit it at all. Alright, have I explored the village su sufficiently? Hey, look, a big old cherry tree. What the fuck is that guy? Oh no. Buffkus? Hey, you aren't... <clears throat> hey, you aren't trying to stick the shit of berries, are you? Off that bush, are you? Cause you're mine! <laughs> Who's taking my berries? You can have some. I don't know why I even want them. So you took my berries, did you? No matter. They'll all end up in my belly one way or another. What, are you gonna fucking eat a guy? Jesus Christ, this dude. Alright, uh, by order of the legal chief, no one is allowed beyond this point until further notice. Hmm, we can probably just move the sign. It doesn't look too heavy. Ex excuse me? No one moves me. I'm here for your protection, you know. There are angry spirits beyond here. Sorry about blowing into the microphone. You think I'm standing around for my health? Oh, I... I didn't know. I'm really sorry. Apology accepted. Now get out of here before I change my mind. What a turd. We're Chief Panty's kitchen assistant. It's a great job, but he works us to the bone. We just snuck out here for a quick break. Please don't tell him. Sorry, let me move my cord a little bit. <clears throat> hey, you guys are new. Are you visitors, or are you going to live for your force with us? Yeah, great. Oh, hey, a treasure chest. You found 10 G. How much G does it take to kill a person? I can't remember. <clears throat> I don't think we have the right tools to remove these rocks. Yeah, great. I'm pretty sure that treasure chest is another RPG Maker asset. It's P Dog, yo! What are you looking at? It's cabbage, okay? Look like you've never seen someone eat cabbage. It's it's cabbage, okay? Cabbage. Cabbage. Sweet, sweet cabbage. Cabbage. <laughs> I mean, I I didn't I didn't even qu I figured you were just eating some 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 like some leaves, dude. What's this place? <clears throat> Morazora's cave. Enter at your own risk. What, what's Morazora gonna do? Is he gonna fucking eat me or something? I mean, I'll, I'll go there in a minute. We share this forest with the the envoy. Winston told me that you can tell when the envoy's spirits pass because uh, it gets really cold. Oh. <clears throat> the storm knocked over all of our emerald beanstalks. That means travel between here and the Skylands is on hold until we can grow some new ones. Half the village is on those big islands up there in the sky. You should check it out sometime. Well, once the sapling grows up. If only there was a way to speed up the process. Like, what if there were another world? An alternate universe, if you will. <laughs> Could it be watering the plants, perhaps? Where altering things would alter things here, but in completely unpredictable ways! Uh... I have a lot of time to think, okay? Huh. <laughs> yeah... Emerald Beanstalk set? Yeah. Can I take the bucket? Can I get a bucket of... no. I'm starting to get thirsty, too. Because I drank too much coffee? No, I probably gotta, like, filter it all out. What is this? It's a guy sleeping. Star Knight is just around the corner. <clears throat> when I go this time, I'm gonna catch myself a pet fish and eat sweets or something. Yeah, alright, and we've made a full circle, right? Yep, made a full circle. I can finally move on and 
get over my obsessive need to speak to every single person possible. Alright, time to see the great forest spirit. Yeah, this isn't really a forest, this is more like a, I don't know, a, a, a mountain? Hey kid, wait up! <clears throat> wait up! Yeah, I can't remember his voice. Uma! I hope you know those caves you're about to go into are a tad confusing. If you're not careful, you could end up getting lost. You better take this. Now, let me take a moment to try to consider what this could possibly imply um, beyond a child's understanding. Is this dude, like, in front of my mother? just crawling out of the maintenance ducts and fucking giving me a map of the of, of the hospital's unfinished floors like war-torn rooms this homeless man my mom's right there and he's playing pretend with me all right morazor's cave map good luck kid thank you uma you got nothing to say about that mom really Nothing. What is that thing? Also, uh, Mom, hello, dear. How are you? So you want to go through this cave, huh? Yes, of course. Okay, I guess since you want to go so badly, I'll cave in and go with you. <laughs> eh? Mom, you're breaking my immersion. Get it? Because we're in a cave and people cave in when they're giving in? <laughs> oh, Mom. Stop. I need this. This is my only escape from the harsh reality of my existence. Whoa, are, are you really going in there? That place is weird. I mean, I'm already, like, seeing a, a talking, like, clover. Alright, uh, well, game map. Cool, it's got, I got a whole option. Oh, okay. Wow, what does that imply? You know I'm gonna have to examine everything. Wait! Oh, Jackie. Was Jackie again? Can't remember who Jackie is. Is Jackie the guy who says, Hello, small child? Or is Jackie the, the cool midnight guy? <clears throat> what are you two doing in here? I'm sorry, is this area off limits? We were just looking for Morazora. Did we get the wrong cave? No, this is Morazora's cave, but you know it isn't safe right now, don't you? The Envoy are here. The Envoy? You know, spirits that are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless, they're just hanging around or passing through. But lately, many of them have become corrupted with bad energy. They're so blinded by things like fear and hatred that they aren't themselves anymore. I was in here collecting supplies this week, and a bunch of them stole my tools! I haven't been able to work at all since then! <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that! Eh? At least I made it out alive. What if we were just really careful? Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, but I really need to talk to Morazora. Plus, we're a lot bigger than you are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! I was so caught up in thought, I didn't even realize you were like, TEN FEET TALL! <laughs> we're not ten feet tall. Close enough. What the heck are you, anyway? We're humans. Interesting. Okay, well, best of luck to you. One problem, though. I know you're trying to reach Morazora, but as you can see... The entrance to his grove has been hit blocked off by overgrown bamboo. I can cut that down if you get me my tools back. The spirits put them in that box over there. Everything I need to do my job is in that box, including my axe. We'll do whatever it takes to help you out. You can start by draining this lake. There are two switches in this cave that control the flow of water. Find them both, and we're good to go. Pretty straightforward, right? I guess. That's the spirit! Uh, no pun intended. 
I'll wait here for your return. Good luck. So, uh, who's Jackie again? I, I swear I... I can't remember. Do I have notes of who Jackie is? Of Jackie? No. Dang. I wish I, I was paying attention. <laughs> Hello, excuse me. Do you mind uh, moving so that we could get through here? Root shoot. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm too tired to move. Too tired. Oh, why are you so tired? Well, usually I love swimming through the dirt. I go on random errands for the tree I belong to. But my tree is malnourished, which means I'm malnourished too. So unfortunately, I can't move right now. Maybe if my tree gets what it needs, I'll be able to move again. But until then, I'm too tired. So I guess I have to go over here, huh? Okay. Hey, big purple guy. Eastern water flow switch, entrance above. <clears throat> hmm, if only the purple creature weren't blocking the entrance. Oh, wait, golem? What kind of golem? The Thargeo golem. I'm so hungry. So hungry I can't move. Poor thing. I'm surprised. I'm sure we have some extra food we could give you. No, I can't eat horse food. <laughs> horse food? I need Sila apples only from the Sila cave tree. <clears throat> A golem child. Yeah, sure. An artificial being. It's, yeah, whatever. If Big Brother forgets to eat, he gets so tired he just sits around waiting for someone to feed him. <laughs> Who's this guy? Is that his tree? Do you think I'm beautiful? I heard that if you have a happy feet, you become more beautiful. Is this true? Hmm, I don't think I've ever heard that saying before. Oh, it must be a tree thing then. I think you have very beautiful green leaves. <laughs> Blushing. <laughs> Thank you! You see, I have three feet. They're probably popping out around here somewhere. They're so sad right now. How can I be beautiful if my feet are so sad? One's hungry for dirt, one's thirsty for water, and one really needs some sunlight. Can you please help them? Your, your fucking feet? What you talking about, dude? Oh cool, a treasure chest. Yeah, let's just press all the buttons. Oh, great. And let me guess, it's locked? It's locked. I'll figure that out later. Oh, I see. I am so tired. Oh, four? Two? I had such a long day. How do you do? It's someone's birthday today. Hello! Okay, so one, six, where's two? Over here? No, two is over here, right? Okay, so one, two, five. When will Morozora wake up? Okay, one, two, three, four's up here, right? Five, eight, no, I must, uh, here? Okay, so, one, two, three, yep, one, two, three, four, five, okay, so, one, two, three, four, five, this one's eight, right, yep, eight, seven, oh my god. Oh my god, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Once I get to like five, it's easy from there. Okay. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, wow, good eye. Cool. You found the blue stone key. Yeah, dude. Great. Oh. 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 That's ominous. Oh, okay. It's not that ominous. What is this? <clears throat> Sue? Oh, hey. It, it almost has Sue's actual face instead of a cat person. Have you ever lost something that was really important to you? I was supposed to meet my friends, but I can't remember where they, we were going to meet. I have to find her before it's too late. Oh no. I have to. Oh no. I have this really catchy song stuck in my head. It's by Budding Indie. <laughs> Is by the budding India rap artist named Little Buds. It budding? He's a sky bud. He looks like me, but he lives in the sky. It's so good. What's the song about? It's so, oh, it's so deep. It's about having to work every day and serving tea to rich buds. <laughs> having a high-strung boss who wears powdered white wigs wanting to make his... Uh, it, it is a hip-hop rap artist hip-hop artist rather it really speaks to me it's so good oh i'm a cave bud not quite fully grown yet i'm getting there it's so good <laughs> oh i love this game i'm a glow shroom i'm supposed to glow big and bright and lately i've been having trouble holding my charges it's probably all that stress from work I just got to take it easy and make sure to exercise. You know how it is. What about you? Have you ever had a best friend? My best friend and I would go everywhere together. <clears throat> we had the best adventures. Both of us were kind of poor. It was sad because sometimes she didn't have any food. But I always shared my lunch with her because that's what best friends do. Anything else? I've been searching for my friend for so long, I can't even remember where we used to meet. I have to find her. Have you ever had a best friend? Yep. Everywhere together, we had the best adventures, had food. Oh, man. I'm a pretty poor guy in real life. I hope I... Okay, that's spooky. That's spooky. Mom, what are those? Hmm, I'm not sure, dear. I wonder if they're the envoy that Jackie talked about. Mom? Stay close to me, dear. Okay. It's alright, dear. I think they're gone now. What's that? What's this thing? Oh, you know, it's just a big inconspicuous... A uh, big conspicuous slab I can't interact with. Whatever. Uh, Mom, you got anything to say? I was looking out the window the other day, and you know what I saw? What did you see, Mom? A skunk. It was looking right at me. Alright, so it's gotta be in fucking America, then. I think, anyway. Do, uh, do skunks live in Japan? Let me look up Japanese skunk. Japanese badger? I don't think that counts as a skunk, though. I mean... Skunks are related to badgers, I think, but... Anyway. A skunk! It was looking right at me. Good thing the glass was there between us. Whatever. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple skunks in Japan. Hello? Are you gonna spook me? I, I wouldn't mind. Mom? There's so many of them. I mean, you can only see one right now. I'm kind of scared. It's okay, sweetie. Hold my hand and stay close to me. I'll lead us through here. Oh. Let me guess. I'm gonna like get separated from her at some point. 
Just a little bit further. You can do it, sweetie. Mom, we made it. I knew you could do it. Oh, friendly foot. The dark makes me sad. <clears throat> you found 10G. Are you Gloshum? Shimeji. Is that someone I should recognize? I don't know what the foot is talking about. The dark is great. It's so dark in here. I don't like the dark one bit. Neither do I. Mom says there's nothing to be afraid of, but I still don't like it. Finally, someone who understands me. These mushrooms don't get it at all. They're all like, sunlight? Who needs that? Only crazy feet like the sun. Well, call me crazy, but I do like the sun. Unfortunately, I took a wrong turn and wound up in the darkest part of this cave. Can you help me get some sun? Yeah, sure. I wish I had some sunlight, stupid mushrooms. I mean, I, I, know, I know a guy. Oh, sunflower! Hey! Yeah, bricked up floor, yeah! <laughs> Hey, kid, did you come to... <clears throat> I could do it like a... Hey, kid! Did you come to listen to our guild practice? Guild practice? Oh, you haven't heard of us? We meet every here now again, Jam. Call ourselves... No holds barred! <laughs> With exactly three exclamation points at the end. Heck yeah! Get it? Because we don't hold back. We don't follow the rules. We spell it B-A-R-D, not B-A-R-R-E-D. Because we're literally bards. It, it's a play on words. Ah, that's clever. <laughs> Lady, I like your style. Uh-huh. So, like, down here, we can be ourselves. Take Craig, for example. Yo. Out in the real world, he's got to wear a suit and a tie and work for the man. But down here, he shreds on the electric loot. Whoa! <laughs> and then there's a little buds. Sup, homies? He spends his day serving tea to a bunch of snobby buds in the skies. I'm all like, more sugar, sir? Like, more sugar, sir? Can I offer you a scones? Only suck-ass sconces. Whoa, they just sweared. They just sweared. Oh! Whoa there, buds. Sorry, sometimes I just gotta let it out. We all do, little buds. We all do. Channel it into music. I gotta go potty in a minute. I just don't feel like editing. I hear you, flower. So like... So like I was saying, down here, we can be ourselves and just jam. <laughs> And so if you need a place to just chill out, free for you, for you to kill, kick it with us, no hold bars! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We need, like, some sun, dude. Oh, I see. I see. I gotta break all these floors. Yeah, dude. Yeah, break that floor. Okay, I broke that floor. Let's break all the floors. Yeah, sure, I guess I broke the right floor. Hey, I'm so happy. Ugh, how can you stand all this light? Light makes me grow. Doesn't it make you grow? No, of course not. If not light, then what do you eat? Dead plants, of course. <laughs> ah, ah! Are you the one who punched those holes in the ceiling? Did you bring me this sunlight? I'm not sure, maybe? Might have been an accident, though. The best accident ever! I'm the happiest foot in the forest! Yeah. Whoa, is it just me or did it get really bright all of a sudden? If it stays like this, I'm gonna go hang out in the dark with the other mushrooms. Eh, I'm so sorry. No, it's no biggie. I have legs and can get up no problem. This guy over here, though, he kind of needs the sun, so I guess it's okay if this one room is bright. I love the light. <laughs> Plants. Anyway, I'll be right back. I gotta go potty real quick. Alright, it's me. I'm back. 
Oh, wait, I forgot I muted the desktop audio. <clears throat> Hi! Back. Hello. Oh, man. Ugh, gross. My headphones are all sweaty. Anyway, uh, uh, I'm starting to get a tummy ache from the, all the coffee I drink. Uh, but, on the bright side, I'm a, a little more awake than I usually am. Oh, Jesus, I've been recording for an hour? Oh, my God. I wanted to stay up a little late, though, um, recording tonight. Since, you know, the past couple times I've had to give up early. There we go. Game's on pause now. <clears throat> Man, it looks a lot better when it's not, like, expanded and this blurry. Anyway. Actually, uh, incidentally, uh... You know, related to this, I s stayed up a little late watching anime. Um, Rewatching, like, the first couple episodes of My Hero Academia. Because I had only watched it in the uh, j or original Japanese. I had never heard the dubs for it. And people were saying that, the you know, the dubs are actually pretty okay. So I was like, yeah, I'll watch the first couple episodes. But, uh, I mean, like, the first episode. But I ended up watching, like, the first couple episodes. So, you know. Ha ha ha, I'm Critzy, I can't keep my word about anything. <laughs> hey, you got anything else to say? Mm, how long did I grow- wait. <laughs> how long did I grow that- uh, glow that time? Two seconds? Five seconds. Great job. I've been searching for my friend for so long, I can't even remember where we used to meet. Yep. Nope, 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 sorry. 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 Just stop. I'm- I didn't mean to talk to you again. Hey, I just meant, I just meant little bud. I have uh, little buds, sky bud, so he looks like, uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. It is pretty late, though, so I don't know, I, I want to keep playing this, but I kind of want to keep it, like, around an hour. I don't know. Uh, you already helped one of my feet. <clears throat> uh, you already helped one of my feet. Thank you. There's just two more that need something now. Cool. Um, let me look at my map. Apples there? Wait, is that the room that I need an apple in or the room that I can find an apple in? I don't know. Aww. Hey, do you have any water? Hmm, let me check real quick. Why, yes, we do have an extra bottle of water here. Would you like it? Oh, that's kind of you, but when I say water, I mean, like, a lot of water. Like, a pond's worth. I drink a lot. Hmm, I don't think we could carry that much water. I understand. If you happen to come across any, though, we'll let you know. Okay, I figured that door would be, like, locked or something. Oh no, there's a big old rock in the way. How do I get... How do I move that? Wow, what a... What a puzzle! Oh, yeah, I can, I can just press A to look at the... Cool. What a puzzle. What a test of my intelligence. Literally, the room right over here. Oh, wait, I probably got the key already. Yeah. Probably wasn't always that easy. This is great! I can feel the water flowing up through the ground and into my toes. Did you guys do this? All we did was pull a switch. <laughs> you gave me water. Water! I can finally be me again. Thank you so much. This is great! I can feel the water flowing through the ground and into my toes. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's weird that they, like, write a dash in thank you. Okay. I'm gonna talk about the second foot. Already helped two of my feet. There's just one more that needs something. He's getting bigger. Oh. Okay. Wait. What? Oh, sorry. 
I guess maybe I probably shouldn't record another one after this, because I am starting to feel, you know, the groggies. What am I missing? Hmm. Where's the other, other, other foot? His other tree toe. Oh, okay. I guess because I helped his other feet, uh, that foot got more energy. <clears throat> Cave bud. Hey, never seen you guys around before. You don't look like Liebels, and you certainly don't look like you're from the Envoy. So you must be new. Do you have any questions? Uh, do you live here? Yeah, I actually live right through that door up there. Uh, unfortunately, some golems were roughhousing right above my front door. Now there's a pile of rocks blocking my entrance. That's terrible. That's ah, no biggie. There's a pig living around here somewhere. He'll need some mushrooms and rocks. I'm sure he'll clear this out once he comes around. Do you have any questions? Uh, what's the envoy? The envoy are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless. Just spirits passing through. But some of them have grown overcome with bad energy. Fear, anger, hatred. It's those that you have to watch out for. Do you have any questions? What are you? I'm a cave bud! <clears throat> Along with the mushrooms, flowers, and minimories, we help keep the forest running. Do you have any questions? Nope, I didn't mean to ask, ask, answer that. Yep, 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 I get it. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, dude. God damn it! Ah! There. Upper level? Oh, okay. That's neat. So I forgot something over there, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, what about this guy? Tulip. The golems are always roughhousing. It's a major problem down here. They caused that rock slide the other day. The only good thing about them is that they smell like grapes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Aw, oh, Mom, look, it's a little onion! Oh no, stay away from that onion. Are you calling me a little onion? Oh, I'm sorry, you're, just, you're much bigger than any other onion that I've seen. Your face is gonna be an onion if you don't stay out of my way! Why would that be an insult? That's like, your face is gonna be a man! <laughs> oh, look, it's the kid who thinks I'm little! Well, let me ask you something, kid. You see these myths? Are these little? Um, well... You think my fists are little? Well, uh, what kind of fists do you have? Dumb, stupid fists? Yeah, I got pretty stupid fists. I'm gonna be honest. What's down here? In the cave basement. Let me check messages. Oh, nothing. Oh hey, another blue cave. Blue blue door blue door time. Is this a door? No, that's just a little recess. <clears throat> hey little golem. The bigger golems are always rough housing. I'm not ready for that yet, so I just hang out with the cats. <laughs> Sorry. Who's this dude? Eh! What the fuck is that? Wah, wah, wah. You come to feed me rocks and crufolos. No, that's nice to hear. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Actually, I did come to, to feed you rocks, dude. Feeding me rocks or trufolos. Trafulos. What's this? Jesus. Door is locked and very loud. What's up these stairs? 
Hey, a little bird guy. You got hints. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. That's fine. I guess there's like some kind of riddle here. Okay. Probably gotta go left from there. Yeah, fine. Maybe there's a hole up there I can get into that cage, you know? Something cool. I'm gonna go out of my way to talk to this guy. Why am I not, like, getting broken limbs here? Right there? No. Nope. Hello. <clears throat> Minimori, uh, 14. Did you know there's a treasure in the room below me? Pity it's behind a locked door. I wonder what's inside. Wowie, I wonder if I solved the puzzle. Yep. <laughs> It's the key to the door, right? The redstone key. Redstone key. Red keystone. Keystone park. Key. Dude! Ah! Whoa! Ah! No, wait, they were screaming. I thought they were s just making, like, dude-like exclamations. What are you doing, man? You totally stepped on a rad shroom! A rad shroom? Oh no. I'm sorry, I really didn't mean to. Hmm, come here, little dude. Am I in trouble? Nah, we're cool. And I can tell you're a good little dude. I'm King Spore, and these are my totally radical Shimeji guards. Together, we make up the Rad Shroom Preservation Society, or RPS. All around Morizora's Cave, there's a great battle going on. A war between good and evil. A struggle between rad and bad. This place is a literal war zone. Yes, yes. You should be surprised. Shocked. Surprised. For ages, the Rad Shrooms and the Bad Shrooms have been at war. Rad Shrooms. Like the poor little dude you just fucking killed. <laughs> I'm sorry. They filled the air with righteous spores. Righteous spores. They make you peaceful, kind, and full of rad. Rad Shroom spores are in the air. And, uh, me rad Shroom spores in the air means we all get along better. Bad shrooms, on the other hand. No! Bad shrooms are totally uncool. When you breathe in their spores, you become rude, gnarly, <laughs> stuck up. So, little dude, whilst on your totally righteous journey, the RPS asks that you help stomp out the bad. Well, totally protecting the rad. I'll try my best. Awesome! Hey, little dude. Is that like your mom? I'm sorry I didn't do this voice from the beginning. Yes. Moms are totally cool. Uh -huh. Mushroom guys. Yeah, dude. Yeah, squish them mushrooms. That's a gross sound. Hello. Wall shroom. Nice view of the water from here. Yep. Okay. Cool. That, that's a cool guy. These are bad shrooms, right? Yeah. Treasure chest over there. I can get that. <clears throat> Have I been here before? No. I know this is hard to believe, but did you know that there's a pig living in this cave? It's kind of insane. Luckily for us, they only eat rocks and truffulos. Not cave buds. Just between you and me. Not that I'd ever say, uh, not that I'd ever wish being eaten by a pig on anyone, but if the pig had to eat someone in this cave, and I had to choose who it was, well, I'll just be honest with you. I'm a level with you. I choose the Trafulos. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that was a bad mushroom. We crush all these bad guys. Yeah, bad mushrooms. Yeah. Bad shrooms. Hello. Sweet music. 
Sandwiches are filled with dirt. Gross. Fine porcelain crup cup is filled with muddy water. Hey, a Trafulo! <laughs> we have the most delicious dirt in all the forest. And that's how it should be. We are the best mushrooms, and we should have the best dirt. Ah. If you've come here to ask for dirt, we're not just going to give it to you. Sorry. You don't give us something in return. Ah, yes. Our dreadful pig who lives on only its two things. Rocks and us. So barbaric. Hi, I'm an American and I think bad English accents are fancy. Fine porcelain cup filled with muddy water. Wow. Uh, this looks like a puzzle, alright. Let me... Let's finish exploring. Great music change. I forgot to talk to this golem. <laughs> Watch your step, friend. Okay. Thanks. Oh, hey, here's the other route. Hey, bud. Oh, woe is me. Hunger consumes me. My stomach is empty at all times. Oh, it aches. How long, <clears throat> how I long for that nectar of the forest, that life-giving ambrosia, that which plays, pl pl that which pleaseth my stomach, delicious, delectable, divine, dirt. I hear your plight, young foot. I will find you the most divine of dirts. Oh, look at all these bad mushrooms. Oh, look, it's that kid who... Uh, <clears throat> it's Dick. <clears throat> oh, look, it's that kid whose fists are really dumb. Hey, fist, what's two plus two? What did you say? You say the answer is... Duh! <laughs> oh, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Duh! Whoa, something feels... Different. Okay, attitude onion. I suddenly feel happy. Now he's happy, onion. Thanks for clearing the air in here. No problem. Hey, I got an achievement at at the bottom right of my actual screen, not not in the in the game, but like my actual screen. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. The game is so blurry. I wish I could increase the resolution a little bit, but... Oh, hey, I've been in... Oh, yeah, I have been in here. Yes. Let me kill more bad mushrooms. I'm just making sure to revisit some of the old places. Hey, you wanna go eat some truffulos? Nope. Maybe I gotta, like, go take some of the rocks or something. Have I gone up here? Yes. That's the Mushroom Man cave. You know, I dig this game, but... Oh, great. Yeah, great, thanks. I dig this game, but it's like... A lot of the puzzles I'm solving on accident. Like, I dig the story and everything, it's just... Hmm. Probably going to bed as soon as I'm done with uh, this little chapter of the story. Alright, let me see if I can get some rocks here. That is blocked by sharp rocks. Can I take any? Or did I just have to, like, investigate it real quick before I can acknowledge that they exist? I don't know if there's any bad shrooms anywhere else in the cave. I should probably check eventually, but... <clears throat> oh. Okay, so what's the point of this whole thing if I can just go... Whatever. 
Those rocks are weird. Why are they weird? Well, one time I saw a mushroom jump from rock to rock to get to the other side, and as he jumped, the rocks turned blue. What's up with that? Weird, right? Alright. Oh, hello. You're not. You're a different key. Door is locked. It's got like a purple thing going on. Maybe it's. Maybe I gotta solve the, the mystery of the rocks. Maybe I gotta like. Okay, I get it. Okay. Okay, this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Why isn't my mom resetting them as I as she jumps past? This one, 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 and done. Great. Neat. Wow, what great puzzles. Here's a bad shroom. Kill that guy. Found some pig repellent. Okay, I, <clears throat> I wonder who in this cave would want something like pig repellent. <laughs> and here's another chest. Sweet. You found ten gold, and there's a bad mushroom over there. I'm not sure if I squished it or not. I think I might have. Let me jump on over there. Gosh. That dreadful pig lives down there, only eats two things. Rocks and blah blah blah. It's pathetic. Truly. Wait. Is that pig repellent you're carrying? Oh, we need that! We'll give you a bag of our best dirt. If you give us that pig repellent, I'll even throw in some Trifulo perfume. It's so refined. The perfume would make even a lowly cave but as smell as good as us. But stay away from the pigs while you're wearing it, otherwise they might follow you around. Disgusting. Barbaric. Uncouth. Give the Trifulo my repellent? Yeah, dude. Delightful. Now that pig will finally give us some peace and quiet, yes. If I crush this mushroom? Crush it beneath your mighty strongs. Your very strong feet. Very heavy, you're a very heavy guy. Hey, how's the quest going? Thanks for helping out, man. How radical am I? Hmm. I'm totally gonna have to check with my... I'm to... I'm... Fuck, I can't remember the, the surfer voice, whatever. Totally gonna have to check with my sources and, like, get back to you, man. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. What do we do again? Uh-huh. Nope, nope. See ya. This feels so rad doing our civic duty. The Trifulos are mushrooms that live right above us. They have the most radical taste in dirt. But these dudes don't share. That dirt makes them taste really good. That's why the cave pig wants to eat them. Wait... Is that like what karma is? Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna go see a pig. I'm gonna go say hi. Hey, pig. Look at me, I smell like a truffulo. You come eat some rocks? Hey, bud. You come feed me rocks? I wonder if he would follow us if we used this Trifulo perfume. Wow, Mom! Wow! That's pretty irresponsible. A man-eating pig. You're gonna tell me to... to bait him like that? <laughs> Why? You smell like Trifulo! I follow you! Okay. Wow, what a great pig.
Hey, good attitude, Onion. Wow, this is such a nice cave. The sound of the underground river here here makes the cool rocks beneath my stalks. And wow, I really like your hat. Thanks, I'm probably bald under it. Rocks! Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm getting sleepy. The silly voices are taking a toll. Rock yum! Now truffle for dessert! Haha, <laughs> doofus. I gave him Trifulo. Trifulo rock propellant. Propellant? Yes, rock propellant. <laughs> I gotta go make sure they're okay. You okay, guys? You, you having a good good time here? You alright? A dreadful pig going blah 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 blah. Yep. How about this, this guy? Yep. Okay, I guess uh, it doesn't change anything. What if I go visit the pig again? Can I say hello to him? Does it make a difference? I just, I just gotta... I'm a completionist, okay? I gotta check all my bases. Confirm all of my suspicions. The pig is gone. What was he looking at the whole time? Also, why did he have a campfire if he eats rocks and living beings? Also, if there are multiple campfires down here, why, uh, why isn't the cave filled with fucking smoke and lacking oxygen because the fires are burning it all? Hey, bud. Thank you, now I can finally go home. Too bad for the Trafulos. Do you have any questions? Nope. What about you? I wish I s I wish I smelled like grapes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sleepy. Hey, pretty bud. Yeah. Ha, huh, I guess that pig finally ate the blocks rocking our door. Rocking our door, yeah. Someone needs to tell those golems to go roughhouse somewhere else. Western water flow switch. You gonna say anything? You gonna talk? I met your brother. Great! Alright, now I can go visit that route, and then we will have dealt with all the things around here. Hey, sad, sad foot. Doth my rooty nose deceive me? That divine fragrance, may it be thou carest, carest the tastiest and most coveted dirt in all the forest. Give the friendly fur- yes. Oh, wonder of wonders, I thank thee for this fine gift. Fare thee well, my friends. You know, when they're happy, they, they kind of look weird. Like, there's this weird ridge over their head, and then they twitch. Uh, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to... <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, now time to go get them apples. This wasn't really... I didn't really feel like this was much of a puzzle. There were puzzle elements, but I solved them pretty easily. I feel like this was more of like a, a walking around talking to guys thing, you know? I'll get you your apples yet, ye fine creature. Oh, oh, bad shrooms. I, I gotta go around and kill all these bad shrooms. Oh, wow, I'm so beautiful. My feet tell me that you helped all of them. <clears throat> because you gave them sun, water, and dirt, I was able to grow into a full tree. Thank you for your help. We all feel much better now. Here to say thank you, oh here, to say thank you I want you to have one of my fruit, just one. Wow, that is a lumpy ass apple, let me... Wow, that's, it's kind of gross looking. Well, oh, careful not to step on that. I'm gonna go take a quick little patrol, make sure there's no bad mushrooms around. Okay, none in this room, area secure. Perimeter secure. Moving out. Oh, 
Dark it down! Dark it down! Oh, wait, did I... Did I... Did I get them all? I got another achievement. I might have gotten them all. I'll go talk to the mushroom guy before I, like, move on with the quest. I mean, I guess I can give the apple to the... Uh, no, nah, I'll, I'll wait. Poor hungry guy, I'm gonna let him s fucking starve. Oh, do they, are they, like, randomly generated or something? Because, like... Hmm. I got an achievement. Maybe I just got enough? I mean, I'm a, com I'm a completionist. I gotta get them all, dude. I keep looking over at the um, recording screen, and I'm sorry about it being so blurry. It's, it's bugging me, but I can't figure out a way to do it any better. Um, if I find a way, uh, you can expect the future episodes to be better. Almost an hour and a half. Dang, dude. Uh, bad, bad touch. Bad music. Okay, well, this was, uh, <clears throat> almost completely pointless. Let me just confirm there's none up here. Alright, let me go to talk to the, to the Red Shroom King. The Red Shroom King. Hey, my name's Chad. <laughs> oh, I'm sleepy. Ah. <sighs> I don't know, should I include the part where I go into, the, like, when finishing this section, or should I cut it off once I get ready to go visit the big, cool spirit guy? to the right, right? Yes, I did. I think I got enough now. You got anything else to say? Thank you for helping my feet. They say, they say happy beautiful tree. I love being a tree. Man, everyone here is so happy to be who they are. It's nice. You know, nobody's like, man, I hate being a fucking foot. <laughs> Everyone's just honest with who they are. Oh, wait, 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 real quick. I just want to mute the music for a minute. That way my computer can uh, have a minute where it's, it's the star of the show. So that I can easily just grab an audio sample later to do, yeah. Great, yeah. It's downstairs, right? Yeah. I think. Maybe. I hope. Yeah. Hey, man. Whoa, little dude. You're so radical. My source... <clears throat> My sources tell me you stepped on a lot of bad shrooms. I guess you totally earned access to the store. The store. Only member of RPS uh, and dudes that have... Oh, fuck, I'm sleepy. The DRPS deems worthy are allowed to buy items from the store. Whoa! It's our way of saying thank you for helping, little dude, and your super rad mom. Unfortunately, we're not quite open yet. God damn it. Heck off. I'm gonna go step on all the rad shrooms now because I'm upset. You made me angry. I am a man that you do not want to make angry. 
I'm a man that you do not want to make angry. I can do things with my mind. I got psychic powers. You just gonna regret. I'll take that bet and you're gonna regret because I'm the best there's ever been. Jump the mountain, brum bum bum. Double the bounce of barbin from Chicken little red pack of a ball. I'm sorry. I'm I'm starting to get delirious. Alright, I smell I smell Shyla Apple. Yeah. Get the lethargy old golem, yes. Oh boy! I feel so different now. It's like I have so much more energy. And he's gonna go like wreck the door again, I bet. Oh, another mushroom. Yeah, I'm probably the brightest glow shroom in here. <laughs> We're talking a thousand watts, 90 second intervals. I can bench like five times my own weight. I also make my own dead plant shakes. They help me put on the pounds. Yeah, I'm probably the brightest glow shroom in here. You're the only glow shroom in here, dude. Get over yourself. That glow shroom is so annoying. It's like, it's like nobody cares how many reps you can do or how many dead plant shakes you drink a day. The lake has been drained. Great job, my child. My son, my spawn. You got anything else to say? Wow, it's like Big Brother's a completely different person. A completely different golem, rather. He's not a person. Wow, this looks... This looks gross. I don't like it. Also, the, the lily pads are still there. The You know, the rocks or whatever. The, maybe they're rocks. The things that are supposed to be in the water are still still floating on water. Maybe they got like puddles or something. You know, it would have been a nice touch if you like had little rocky pillar things that were hanging out in the water. Found the blacksmith stools. Yeah, why are they over there again? Why would the uh, why would these evil spirits put them in a chest all the way over there? And then like whatever. Oh, my wonderful tools! Yeah! Thank you so much! Now, as promised, I'll clear you a path into Morzor's Gorubajob. Can I keep the tools? There you go! Well, I'd better get back to my shop. Thanks for everything. Oh, one more thing. If you visit my shop, I can build you some tools of your own! It's gonna take me a little time to get everything up and running again, though, so why don't you go on by once you're done talking to Morizora? Hopefully I'll be ready by then. Let me, uh... Oh, I'll wake myself up. I'm gonna talk to Morizora before I go to bed. <clears throat> Let me just sit up straight. Get a yawn out. <sighs> Stretch! Stretch! Ah. Alright, here we go. And what are you doing here? Isn't this like a sacred place? I'd recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are far too many envoy beyond this point. I'd recommend against it. Yep. At last. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's too bad it's all blurry on the... Imagine what it looks like in, like, pristine pixel art condition, dude. Oh, man. That is a nice-ass sprite, dude. Sorry for swearing. It looks like we... <clears throat> it looks like we have visitors. Hmm. I do not recognize their kind at all. I don't think they're from Morazora's forest. Hmm. Definitely not from around here. Definitely not. 
It's been many years since we've had visitors such as these. Oh, that is... That's some nice art, dude. It, I dig it. Tell me, young boy, what brings you to the Keeper's Grove? I want to ask or uh, Morizora if he would grant me a wish. <clears throat> I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry, but Morizora has been sleeping for a while now. Oh. Do you know when he's going to wake up? My boy, this is not an ordinary slumber. A darkness has fallen over Morazora's lands, and over him as well. A darkness? You see, we have long shared this world with the Envoy. They are spirits between this realm and the next, typically peaceful, merely passing through. However, lately more and more of them have become overrun with negative energy, anger, fear, hatred. The whole forest can feel it. If Morizora sleeps, and the darkness subsumes his lands, we are all in danger. This is terrible! We have to do something! Let me try to wake him up for you! Haha, <laughs> my boy. Morizora cannot be woken by just any means. When the darkness has caused him to fall into this slumber, the only thing that can awaken him is a very special song. A song we call... Mori no Kokoro. Can you teach it to me? No, my child, I cannot. But that is not to say you can't learn it. When you can hear things that are too quiet for the ears, the fear and longing, the hopes and dreams of those around you, then you can wake him. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Look around us. Do you see the stones with different markings? Yes. Each one represents a voice that is calling out for your help right now. A man whose connection with his wife has been severed. A woman who prepares to lose that which is most dear to her. Seek them out, along with the rest who call out to you. If you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. See that one over there? Yes. Shh. Listen. My wife's been asleep for months now. Oh, I remember that. Something tells me that a good pl that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Return to us if you need any help. Oh, man. It figures when I want visitors. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. I miss my friend so much. If she was here, we'd go up there together. Wait, uh, you... Fucking excuse me? Is he just fucking ditching my vision? What a turd. Okay, well... That's probably gonna be the end of the episode for today. I'll see about getting the, uh... The visuals a little crisper next time, but... For now, I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I definitely want to play more of this. Um, sorry for... Sorry for neglecting my other episodes. I know that it's probably gonna slow things down for a bit, and I don't want to upload this yet, but... You know. It's nice, you know? I'm happy I played it. Yeah. Anyway, bye. I'll see you when I wake up. Oh.